Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. I'm curious to just see how we're doing on the leaderboards at the moment. Our survey says 64th. 64, 64, 64, Zulane. All right, let's get going with another run. So the last two runs, we did a nine, a, a five die and a nine die lotto, although the five die had to be adapted fairly quickly. What did we do? Was it a nine die and a 16 die? I cannot remember. But we're going to see if we can't expand on it a little today. I was wondering, excuse me. I was wondering what we could do with 25 dice, particularly if... We tried to get a big lotto going, as we so often do. And if we tried getting a run and its multipliers going as well, all at once. So I thought we would give that a go. Now, do I want to get an increment of this early? Probably. It's going to be a fair few rolls to get it. Is it a half incrementer? It is. But it'll do its thing. There's another one. So I'm just going to buy up lots of stuff in the early shops and then we'll see where we progress from there. All right, 2,126 rolls remaining and I'm opting for a 73 today. Or, no, we'll go to 79 because a 79 can make a run with a 77 and a 77 is required to make the 50% chance at 100 work correctly so we're just going to go to our upgraded shop now then probably upgrade again immediately and from here we're looking to set all die faces somewhere. A 4x is going to be great on that 79. And I don't think we want any of these numbers. I'm just thinking 42 doubled would make 82, 84 which is kind of close, but we want to go down from the 79. 26 plus 10 would be 36. Doubled would be 36, 72. 72 is close to 73, but again, not exactly what we're after. We are looking for six times re-rolls on the main scoring dice that we have now. Otherwise, we can then go up to our next tier of shop, start worrying about finding re-rolls and everything else that we're going to need to make all this stuff work. So we'll get this re-rolling in duplicate all over. I'll grab this 50% chance at 100 while I'm looking at it. Then I think we can hop up to our next tier of shop. from here we of course get our passives and the other components we're going to need to make the run work eventually now a 10x is pretty large improvement against the 4x that we currently have on that 79 particularly because 79 is such a smaller number than 97 and hopefully at some point soon we'll find a all dice set to the same number. 78 is a great number to pick up because we've got 79 here and we're definitely going to want to build a dice of 77s to make 77, 78 and 79 with the 77s being applicable for the 50% chance at 100s becoming 100% chance at 100s for the lottery strats we're going to implement. And uh, oh look, a die of all 77s. You can't write this stuff. Now, I also want a die full of right sums. I think now is just as good a time as any 
to try and get one of those. Sixteen K, quite a lot of money to us at this point. But if we put that I'm just trying to make the most value that we can get as we're moving forwards. We could put it on here and then move that die up there. We need a move whole dice for that though. We don't need clovers, that's not part of our concern. There's a set all die faces. We want that for the 79 in the center. We'll get rid of the incrementers on these. And what are the odds that that's on 79 as well, huh? Then we could take a no weights 200% bonus as well. Because we don't have much in the way of other scoring going on at the moment. So if we pick this up now... That will give us a boost right now that we need. And then after that, we'll grab the Lotto die because that will have two 50% chance at 100s on it. And then what else do we need? We need some voids. Yes, absolutely. So we'll stick that on here with the 79s. At some point, we'll move one of the 79s off when we're ready for it to be a... Um, ready for it to be a 7-7 seven, seven, or the 7s. But for now, that's fine. Let's pick up something else re-rolling twice. Probably this, just to get the 77 to pay out multiple times. We might as well pick up these dice as well. And I think we can also pick up the 800% bonus for 50 dice because we're going to work with 25 dice, but we can get the passive that treats every dice as if it was five times as many dice or something of that ilk. Then the rest of this we don't need. Set all die faces we do want because that is going to be applicable to our 78 over here. So we already have a pretty good run of three, universally. So now we're looking for shop refresh adders. We have a die to put them on when we get them. Otherwise, some more lottery die wouldn't be a problem. I'll take another right sum while I'm looking at it. This die doesn't actually have anything of particular value to us, so unless we want to double the 40 to an 80 and set all dice here, but we'll use the other faces first. Otherwise, we could invest in more 77s and we could try and get a Yahtzee of 77s going. This run is just going to be an amalgamation of many and varied possible strategies. We'll also take the... No, we won't take the square number bonuses yet. We've got plenty of scoring as we are. Something else to re-roll? Why not the 78s? Right. We can double that number to 80. Then we can move it off somewhere perhaps later. We need more voids, absolutely. And whilst it's presented to us, I will swap the die position of the one with the arrows over to here for now. That will change in time, but that shouldn't be a problem for us to manipulate later. Double rerolls somewhere. We'll put that on the one with the arrows so that they can be effective on multiple rolls. Buy one, get one free. Probably going to be very important moving forwards. Do we need another void? We don't really here. 
but whilst we can afford it so closely, that was a big roll. We might as well put one up here. Then left sums, we need a die to take all of those. And what I should definitely be looking for that we've probably rolled past a few is the ability to move something because we need to harvest these 50% chance of the hundreds off of there. Numeric 46 is bigger than a numeric 2. That's how counting works. So there's a face swap. So we want to face swap these 50% chance of the hundreds onto this die here. Another BOGO, absolutely. Then these 10 X's are easy targets for currently this 79 here and then the 78s across from it. 98 is not 99 and is a big number, so we can put that somewhere. The rest of this I don't think we need. Now, re-rolling in triplicate is even better. These are only in duplicate at the moment, so I'll upgrade those to triplicate. We don't really want to lock anything, I don't think. Again, the number 98 is bigger than the number 3. I want the arrows. Is there anything that we want to set all die faces to? We could do this one to the 97 just because that is prime and that might benefit us later. Six times single rerolls on those 97s. Two times previous roll multiplier. We could put it on here. It's not going to do us much harm, I don't think. But the, Yahtzee, uh, the void is going to double the score anyway. So it seems less pertinent. Let's just throw it up there because we can. I'll take a die with faces 1 through 99. So that's 9, 10, that's 13 dice so far. Lotto bonus 500%. I'll pick that up while it's staring me in the face. Reroll in triplicate as well. Let's put that on... Where are we going to put that? Let's put it on here, I guess. 200% bonus for numbers valuing fives. Sure. It's not going to be too big an impact. The rest of this stuff is not stuff we need desperately. And I don't think we need this extra scoring right now either. I will take another lotto die, though. That's going to have... Lots of the die faces we want to harvest. We have settle faces. We have swap die positions. Let's move this right arrow over to here. What I really want is a universal re-roller. Things are going to get messy with all this tat, but got to buy it at some point. Reroll in triplicate for the one with the other side of the arrows on. Speaking of the other side of the arrows. A 5x is absolutely adequate. Why not get something re-rolling one extra time just so that it can score twice? Right, our first shop refresh adder. Where are we putting you? We don't have a great candidate. I don't really want an incremental die, although eventually we can just replace all of the faces of the incremental die with things that don't actually increment, so that won't be a problem. There's another right arrow.
the number 93. We can move a face. We want to harvest this 50% chance at 100 onto this die here. Should have bought two of them and then passed them over to where two of them already started, but too late for that now. I'll take lucky rerolls also while I'm staring at it. Get these multipliers going just about anywhere because they're free. Also another right sum arrow. So if we want to save that 80, we need to do it soon. Another BOGO. All right, our scoring is not excessive, but very large right now. I wonder where most of that came from. Where did hundreds of thousands come from? Some of all dice until opposite sum, 154,000. And sum of all dice between 154,000. So that's where we got all of that from. The rest of this, don't think we need to move any dice at the moment. Oh, we could put this right arrow one further across. Buy the number 84. Sure. I'm already forgetting, like, most of the stuff that we need to implement to make this whole strategy work. We got 1.7 million. Excuse me. Uh, numbers in run reroll. Absolutely. Doubles reroll. Why not? 3x. Single face multiplier. Sure. Single face multiplier. Sure. Don't need to set anything. Don't need to glue anything. I'll add a die of prime numbers. Scavenger. We're so close to it. We might as well pick it up. Grab doubles bonus as well. Still lacking shop refresh multipliers. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my plight game. And the rest of this is not really stuff that we need. I think we can get to 100 dice. If we have 25, 25 times 5 is 125. So I think that will be applicable. So we'll grab it. 50% chance at 100. We will need more of them. Goodbye, okay, number 46. Locks, big spender, bunch of other stuff. All right. I think I might upgrade to the next tier of shop soon, just for the sake of doing it. So now at the final tier of shop, no idea what I expect to find here in general, but we'll just keep shopping. I'll pull this 80 off onto a generic die. We can set all faces on that if we want to. There's another 77 die. We have three of those already. We're trying to get to a Yahtzee of them because why not? Grab a single set of a kind as well. Ten X certainly can't hurt to go somewhere. Six times reroll in triplicate. Do we have that on both sets of arrows? That's double, so we'll make that triples. When a die gains a rebate, it will not pay immediately. I mean, I'll buy it just to get it out of the pool. Right, there is our first 1% at all the sevens. And we can get a copy of a dice. 
but I don't know what we would benefit from copying per se. We could obviously put the sevens or the sevens on a dice, then copy whatever it is we put on it, or whichever dice we put it on. If we do it on here, and then copy that, we'll have as many 7-7 seven, seven, or the 7s as we could possibly ever need. 50% uh, chance of 100s that we could possibly ever need. Also could have done the shop refresh adder faces. I kind of regret not doing that as soon as I thought of it. I suppose I will buy the key, put it somewhere, because we can if we do want to start cloning stuff. Like that maybe. Right, we need some glue. 10x previous roll multiplier. We definitely want to pick those up. And what I'm beginning to imagine is that we've bitten off more than we can chew. Don't really need any of this stuff right now, although we did get an 80 put somewhere, didn't we? Set all those to 80. There's some glue. We want that to go on the key. And we want that key to reroll in triplicate to get that unlocked faster. Run multiplier is going to increase our scoring quite well now. There's another 77, so that's a Yahtzee of those. 20% at a quarter, we need a die full of those as well. Then moving something, we can move this 50% chance at 100 onto there. 38 million for another copy of something. How many dice are we at? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's gonna to double to make 21 then we need four more dice. Okay, that was a colossal roll. Everything's about to get way more expensive. What do we want a copy of? I'm just gonna copy this because I want the shop refresh adders a lot. Then we can add these wilds all over the place because they're so cheap. We can grab another key. I'm not going to try and work a grid system into what we've got going on right now. Now everything is obnoxiously expensive and this is going to be a nightmare. Double the highest dice, absolutely. Right, just give me a universal reroll, please. This is what I'd really like right now. Right, 20% chance of the quarters are going up there. So we just need to fill the four corners of dice. We can get a copy of something. Copy of what though? Could do this guy with two shop refresh adders and two wilds that doesn't seem terrible uh, this isn't locked so that's gonna unlock to fill that we need two more dice Don't need another 7-7 seven, seven, or the 7s. Those guys are at their maximums. There's a 77 against the all 50% chance at 100. So we don't really need to move anything either. Right, we 
do want 10x previous rolls. We have one on our main lottery die. We want another dice of them. So we need a sacrificial die. This go on down here will do nicely. And we need more 7-7 seven, seven, all the 7s. And we need a sacrificial die for that. Probably do this guy here. Start moving stuff off later. I don't think we need the 50% chance at 100. But we could just put it here. And then we only need to move one more thing over later. Really want a universal reroller now. Even more die copies if we want them. Three hundred and sixty zero five eight. Three hundred and sixty zero five eight. Nine four three four three one. They cost exactly the same. I hope they can impact one another with Bogo. If they can, I should buy everything else before that, or at least set everything else to one, because we have three Bogos, and what I want is for these to be the last two things that have a cost. So let's just start buying everything else to reduce the cost of things. Do I care about where anything else is right now? I definitely want this to be a lottery face for slot machine. I think. No, that was set all faces. What was on this die before? I think it was just numbers, right? I think that's not as tragic as it could have been. Oh dear. Well, these things happen. Right, I don't want to buy stop production, really. But now there's only three things left, four things left with high cost. If I buy the most expensive one, hopefully the other three will then become free. Need to hit some lucky dice rolls to get there. How expensive is this? 360 million. Billion, whatever tier of shopping it is. We just need to hit big payouts to get there apparently. Much bigger than I thought it was going to be to get here. Come on. You can do it. Apparently my consistency is nowhere near what I'd like it to be. Alright. going to take a copy of this I think. got the 10x previous, although what do I want? We've got one, two, three of those, I think. Four of those. If we copy these, we'll have enough of the 7-7 seven, seven, or the 7s. Also, this guy has, like, shop refreshes and wilds on it. Whoa, that was not what I wanted to do. Everything is a mess. Give me more of these. Then buy that for free. Don't stop production, although I have 25 rerolls now, which is great. Now we need a lot of moving stuff. There's rigged machine. There's another left sum. Have I completely balked my shopping efficiency? I've no idea. I think I have. I think I've 
done a terrible job of trying to arrange everything else that's going on and shop and be consistent. Is this rigged machine we're trying to buy right now? Yes. So we can buy that. Buy that. And then I need a move. I need to move a face. Or I can just buy this one. So that's going to go on here. Then hopefully things are going to start to get a bit crazy. There's all in. There's some movers. The result of all lottery faces will be multiplied by 10 when all lottery faces lose. So we need this to be all 50% chance at 100s. So if we swap this 77s, for that 50% chance at 100s. We can now invest in this. That's going to times everything by 10 there. I'll take lottery failure reroll just because we... Excuse me? We have lucky 7s, right? Four leaf clovers that are orthogonally adjacent to a numeric 7 or 77 are worth 777 points. Lottery faces that are orthogonally... Oh, it's the re-rolling problem. Isn't it? I forgot to make them all re-roll three times. Well, this is going to hurt me in incredible ways. So... You're re-rolling twice. You're now re-rolling in triplicate. I need one more of them to re-roll in triplicate. Unless I have a sevens or the sevens already re-rolling in triplicate, I do. So I can poach this one that's re-rolling in triplicate into this spot. Now everything should be fine. Yeah, the forgetting how the re-rolls impacted everything really messed me up. There's slot machine. We definitely want that as well. But this whole grid is just such a mess of stuff. I'm not expecting high things. I don't think we need more shop refresh adders at this point. I don't even think we need more bogos. So we now want a die of all 7-7 seven, seven, or the 7s. So I should have definitely been looking for the movers, which I've not been because I'm bad. So we want to move this over to here. We can buy another one, stick it there. Run length multiplier is going to increase our score a decent chunk. 10x previous roll multiplier goes on here with the other 10x previous roll multipliers. At some point I was thinking about trying to make a run, but I think that actually went completely down the toilet, didn't it? What was it going to be? 77, 78, 79? Then 80? Did I ever make a 79? Or this was my 79s and I never moved one off, right? I think that's what I did. Because I'm not great. Where's my other 10x's? Oh, it's down here. So we need a plus... 7 to make a 79, right? 77, 78, 
We have 72 here, we want 79, we need a plus 7. Or to do some funky stuff with some incrementers. number bonus please I still can't believe we don't have a universal re-roller we need a plus seven passive hunter how expensive is that not super expensive Plus nine on a 70 would get us there. Doesn't look like we have a numeric 70. No 99s, reroll twice is something. Plus 10 on a 69. Do we have a 69? I doubt it. We also want attached multipliers to combine. That's really important because we would like this to be at 99. It's one of the important parts of getting a high score here. 10x previous roll multiplier joins its friends down there. Add more score onto here. No weights, reroll in triplicate for an E16. I have no idea how far we actually are off such possibilities. Apparently, very. So that's our re-rolling woes dealt with. All of 244 rolls remaining. Top three we probably want. Clearly going in with a plan, but a very, very, very loose plan is not the order of the day here. What I'd now like is the five times number of dice passive. That is what I would like. And still looking out just barely for a plus seven. Eight hundred percent on our lotteries, absolutely. Plus eight on a seventy one. Don't think we have any seventy ones. We do not, certainly. No 99s plus 100. We have some 99s that we'd have to get rid of first. We've got a bunch of them thanks to all the incrementers I've done because I'm bad. So we'll ignore that for now. 100 dice plus 100%. A thousand percent. Yes, I want that. Then I want the passive that makes it so that, there you go, number of dice times five, E19. We are not going to get there. Well, this was just a 
a mess? A hot mess? A failed experiment? I don't know, but... I thank you for your time and attention anyway. Hopefully, what is it now? Uh, this is Sunday the 2nd going out on Monday the 3rd. So, a fresh call for ideas for Fan Build Friday. I'll try and actually start getting them back to being published on a Friday this year, because through December it all just became a hot mess with my uh, my birthday, then Christmas, then New Year. It was just like, ah. But, you know, we'll see what happens next. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.